problematic, but people seem to be talking about Pokemon mainly, so I saw. all is well. Yeah, well, once the Pokemon talk. Alright. Should be back now. Should be back. I am apparently not back. Should I panic? I don't know, my stream's just not turning on. Huh. It's like, it's telling me I'm encoding frames, but nothing gets going to Justin TV. Oh, hey, you can't see it. I can't see my own stream. Fair enough. Fuck it, I don't need to see my own stream. As long as you can all see the stream. All right, so that let's uh, let's drop full on and finish this exciting game. And it's like literally three more seconds. <laughs> it's like literally like three more seconds. I was I was expecting it to immediately cut out, but you know it, it was not three. There we go, GG. <laughs> In most diplomatic though. fashion. That's fair enough. Alright. Alright. So, I need to re in the Icy Cup. And then we'll get this back on the road. Oops. The shit ain't even fair, there's so many games in iCup right now. Whenever I look for a game, like Monday morning, there's no games and now that I'm casting are like a shit ton of games. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Why don't more people play on Monday mornings? Beat me? Alright. There we go, hello hello. Hello hello. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take all those technical difficulties and put them put them behind us. Moving to game two. Ah, they never happened. Never happened. So on the bottom right, we have Bakuyu, uh continuing on now as Teal, Zerg. And on the left side, we have Fox's Queerness. Hmm. Here in us. There we go. Leave the white Terran. So, you know, this is kind of a weird pick, I guess. Because, you know, Terran hasn't been faring very well on this particular map. And I do believe that Kirinus' last game, um, last week was actually for Zerg as well on this map and I believe we saw beta cruisers against ultras <laughs> only there were two beta cruisers and about 20 ultras indeed we did and we saw queerness be a pansy and quit early <laughs> before the infested Terran could get off I'm, th All right. I'm yeah, right. still I peeved about that. that bullshit wow <laughs> I, I believe as well that he did go uh, some type of 2 rex build in that game. Am I correct on that? Um. Yeah. Do you see no. hesitant? No, he went for more than 2 racks. I think he went for like 4 Three? racks. Really? He one didn't, he didn't expand until like 15 minutes into the game. He was really late. Fair enough. I, I, I'm. Back are you playing a 12 hatch though, with uh, 11 pool? I reckon. There goes the drone. It's a bit early, but yeah, there we go. Pull down. Absolutely standard.
barracks being delayed a bit by this drone. He's getting gas as well, though. So we may actually see uh, an early factory or something like that anyway. Yeah, um, early, early refinery means one of two things. It's either going to be an early factory or an early eBay. But he hasn't thrown down the eBay yet, so it's certainly going to be an early factory, and there it is. Well, it might not be just a mech build. Um, oh, yeah. I think that there's to... Cer uh, there's certainly a lot of different variations that can come off of the factory. But, sure. But the factory is here, indeed. A two racks... Um, well, not a two racks, what did I say? A, a two port wraith build is an option as well. Although, like, I'm not sure that that's the optimal way to go. I believe Kieran is used to play... Ooh, a two-fact. And this is kind of cool because, um... I was going to say a two-port might not be the best option because Kieran is used to play... Like, I think he used to play a different race. And whether it was... I, I believe it was Protoss, but I'm not 100% sure. But, um... I actually played, I, I think I played Kirinus a couple of times, but the last time we played I actually did a two-fact against him. So, I'm just gonna say he stole this build from me. I did lose, however, so it's not the best. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to say why he would steal that build, but yeah, I'm still gonna claim it. Uh, I'm pretty Meantime. Sure, I'm pretty sure Kirinus is a race picker. Who doesn't really? play... Really? Yeah, he's normally Zerg. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense, I yeah. guess. I'm I'm slightly disappointed that Queerness didn't two fact like a boss, because this on this map, you could do double proxy factories at each of the back doors of the Zerg. Why would you do that? Because there's no way he catches both. But how would you get units in? You lift them over. Right. Right. I suppose. I suppose that's. I um, actually wonder if you. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? Reveal entire map. There we go. Um. Huh. And then it wouldn't would it wouldn't work in this position. But you can actually like if you if you're an outsider and you're at either the twelve o'clock or six o'clock positions, uh, those those kind of mineral lines, you can actually push. Vultures and tanks, and etc. Through the mineral lines by uh, building a machine shop, and it's like a really easy way of pushing units through mineral lines. But it doesn't work on this map, I don't think. So he's got a, a single vulture out right now, but there's a sunken as well as a zergling blocking a uh, run by. And he, Becker is making hydras, which I think is the correct uh, response. Still making some drones as well. I wonder what kind of upgrade he's getting. He's getting... Ooh! Look at that, he's actually getting filter speed, which is done now. And he's got about... 8 or 9 filters just going for the front right now. Um, there's this... There's a Hydra blocking... Blocking the entrance, but... I think they can gun it down, right? Yeah, I think you can get a lot of vultures in here. Vultures aren't that bad versus hydralisks when you, they outnumber them this severely. There you go. And drones are drones. now being pulled. It did buy enough time for the drones to get into position, but Quinnerus is still moving forward, still getting a bunch of drone kills here, and now he can get in vultures into a good enough position to not be in range of the sunken, and that's really what he was looking for. He's getting a lot of drone <laughs> kills, even though he lost all of his vultures. Yeah, yeah, he he had them in like the one sweet spot that couldn't get hit by the by the by the sunken, but then he was like in the way of the drone drill that went from the ramp to the to the geyser. So that was really unfortunate, and uh, he lost all his filters. And I think this was like like he had a lot banking on this attack, and now he's switching into three yeah. factory Goliath. Yeah, he's he's all in. It's plus one Goliath is... all in. Good luck. Yeah, this isn't... Bakker, you're getting a spy, but if he just keeps making hydras from three hatches right now, like, he can probably just camp on top of the ramp and just crush whatever Kiranis wants to do. Uh, Kiranis getting the range upgrade for the Goliaths, but 
I'm not sure that's... Oh, Spire is done. He is actually making Muta, so... Like, I wonder... Like, if these Mutas end up doing no damage at all, like, how would you think Kirinus's chances would uh, increase or decrease? I mean, really, really, it's... This, this all-in from the Goliath isn't terribly different than uh, uh, any other all-in. It's, you, if your opponent messes up, doesn't realize it's coming, which, seeing that many Goliaths, Baku you now knows it's coming. But if he, for whatever reason, flies the Mutalisks over Goliaths with range, he'll take a lot of damage. Or if he has one really bad engagement, then it has a chance. But if Baku plays it safely, which Baku's really good at playing things safely, should have no problem. Yeah. Kirinus has been supply blocked for a while, and he's got a single tank right now, and he's actually moving towards the Zerg Natrium. I really don't know if he should be doing that. Um, like, if he gets this force crushed, the game is definitely over. Yep. Uh, there's three Hydras moving out, um, as well as these Mutas flying in, but... Uh, it's no, not enough Goliaths. Goliaths. Goliaths are not yeah. good enough against Mutalisks to pull that quite off. I like this Gosu Micro, though, with the uh, with the tank, ma tank making little spins, but... Yeah, two mutas remain as well as three hydras, and Kyrnius is basically without forces. He's producing from his factories again. He's got three goliaths guarding the front as well as a CC that's almost done. But um, yeah, that didn't go too well. Kyrnius is has like six factories off of one base, which is fine. It's solid. Which is absolutely fine. It's the Kyrinus build. Alright, well, now that Baki realizes that Quinnerus is completely invested in Goliaths, he can have a couple of Mutalisks to prevent tank transition, and then just attack with Hydralisks. Because Hydralisks are very cost effective against Goliaths. Yeah, true. I think you can go like 8 fact Goliath like, off of 2 base. Like, I think it's doable. It's probably not the best option, but. <laughs> Well, actually, like, like, Kirinus needs to do, like, another all-in, right? Like, yep. there's nothing left for him but doing all-ins. But, um, yeah, he's got no siege to tanks. Actually, with the help of these SCVs, he might be able to push this attack back. But as soon as Bakuri reinforces and pushes in again, he's forcing the Goliaths back now, and he's got 5-0. He's not even producing from his factories, this is so over. Uh, one Goliath left at the bottom of the ramp, and then whatever more can come out. But the SCVs are left alone at the top, and he's losing a lot at this point. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's 30 supply against 60, so... Becker only at 60 supply, what the hell? Well, he doesn't have his hype yet. Huh? He can't go above 60 supply. Is that true? He got us um he did get a third base and he's only mining gas, basically, so I was expecting maybe a faster hive transition, but looks like he's switching back into Mutas for some reason. Oh they actually got the CFC. That's that's actually like <laughs> what can I say? Kirinus is dead. Like he's got no he's got no command center, he's going six factories off of one base now. Not producing SCVs. He's got 30 supply. Um, like this is this is the point where where I would expand to the Terran's natural, pretty much. Yeah. That seems pretty solid. Bakyu just just sunk and push down around. Why not? Yeah, Bakyu uh, going with the Mutalisks a little bit too fast though. He doesn't. I don't know if he has enough Mutalisks to deal with Goliaths on their own, but certainly once he gets up with the Hydralisks, he'll be fine. Yeah. Like, I think Kyrinus is might be waiting for Siege Mode. Is he even getting it? Does he have that? No. I don't think he has it, he, and no way he he's not getting it either, so... I think I could see him push back up the ramp with, you know, leapfrogging, leapfrogging Siege tanks, but... He's not doing that.
Daiquiri is still making Hydras and Mutas. Mainly Hydra now. Daiquiri manages to get up the ramp. Yeah. I mean, from Baki's perspective, he almost might just want to let Quinaris get up the ramp. Because now there is one turret yeah. guarding the mineral line. And he has enough, he has enough Hydralis that so he really doesn't need to worry too much about it. About the attacking force. Now, now he can get a proper flank up on the army and just crush it in the middle of the map. Like, here we go, he's, you know, Kirinus is moving southward. This Hydra's waiting for him, and... Why... Right, so there's... There's like 20 Hydras AFKing in Bakuryu's natural, but uh, he doesn't need him. He doesn't need him. Oh well. So I believe that means that Elaram is up 2-0. to zero. Yes it does. Alright. Alright, game's up. Mock you. I don't know. He's he's looking in pretty good position at this point to get an all kill. It's gonna be all up to karate for Fox <laughs> or Elena. Yeah. I'm, I'm rooting for Elena if Elena shows up. Here we go. Alright, in the top right position, we have Bakuryu as the green Zerg, and in the bottom left, we have Fox's Wands. About Wands, I believe he got... <laughs> you are going to have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he got second in the Noise Star League, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. You really want oh, to know yeah. Starly. Um, yep. So, so even though that you know that means he is probably within the confines of uh, the C ranks, he does show promise. Like I'm just gonna put it that way. <laughs> there was actually some silly controversy about that because when training during that league, he got to B minus. And then there were people who wanted him kicked out because he was no longer C. <laughs> See, that's that's the problem about trying to organize leagues for like lower levels, because people will get better, right? Especially if you make them train for well, that's a league. The, that's the goal. But uh, the goal yeah, is to make so. mid-level players become top-level players. Fair enough. But so once Scout's down right, doesn't find Bakuryu, he's gonna proceed to top right where he will find him. And I wonder if he's gonna be in time to block the hatchery. Probably not, by the looks of it. He's got a 300 ready. Drone arrives. There we go. So Bakuryu with the hatch first. Uh, against ones is uh, Pylon Forge, and I really think he could. Uh, he, he could probably Nexus first, right? Cross positions versus Hatch first? Yes, no? He... I He started the Forge before he got the Scout off on the 12th Hatch. So This is true, he but could, he scouted but, it. Yeah. He could um, he could go Nexus now, and it looks like he will be. Sure. Like, he could have fit... He could have cancelled the Forge as well to... Yeah. Save, like... Save, like, 15 seconds or something. <laughs> Maybe not even that... Save like five seconds. Yeah, at that, at that point, it's usually just not worth it. Mm -hmm. um, it does look like he'll be going uh, Forge Nexus Gateway, though. So, pretty much as economical as Protoss can get in this matchup. Yeah. And Bakuyu, cruising along with his 12 hatch. Which is fair enough. So, do you know anything about Wands' playstyle? Um, no. And it's no because I casted a few games from ASL, but every time I casted Wands, it was versus Terran. 
so I could talk about <laughs> his versus Terran, but I have never seen him play Zerg. Okay, okay how, do, how does he play versus Terran? Maybe we can, like, deduce some... Well... <laughs> some kind of mentality that would... It, it would not be flattering, because if I was to say that, I would say he looked um, very similar to Best. In that he did absolutely nothing until he got four bases in a 150 army, and then just steamrolled people with macro. But Fair ho enough. Hopefully he does not play PvZ like Best. Fair enough. So, you know, we... Hmm... That's actually fair enough. Like, I know that Baku is, um... Um... Like, I think he, he likes this, uh, the four-hatch Hydra build, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what he... What he was known for at, at some time, and, you know, last game we saw him do this, uh... This fake lair into Hydra Den, into getting lurkers. Oh, I guess you need, you'd need the lair for that, but anyway... Into this kind of weird muta switch, and, you know, someone who... Who is inclined to turtle a bit more might be a bit safer against that. Whereas Fold kind of moved out without having cannons in his main and lost a shit ton of probes. Right? Yeah, and Fold never had Corsairs that game. So the lack of scouting of the Spire or the lack of scouting of the uh, the early four hatcheries really hurt him. So if one's played yeah. standardly this game, he'll ha he should have a little bit better scouting information, and we do see the Stargate on the way. So Interestingly, Baku is getting his lair at a third at his third again. So this setup might actually move Ooh. into the natural. Oh, he's probably not gonna get there. Okay. Uh I see Baku go and make the lair at the hatchery that's being attacked often. But I don't know how much I've seen him go for go and put it at the third when he's unprovoked. That is, that is a little bit on the stranger side. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe like he saw the he saw the the, the zealot and maybe like the zealot isn't really meant to do damage, right? It's just for poking, making sure he's making the zergs making links, and maybe do some scouting. So, like I think ideally you want to check out the like either the uh, the three clock position or the. Uh, the main natural below it, just to see where the Zerg got his third natural, or uh, his third base. So maybe that's why he anticipated the Zerg, being, the, the Zealot going to the uh, free clock position. I don't know if that's an option. Hmm. Seeing a lot of Zerglings up back here right now. It's got about, it's got about 10 or 12. About. He's getting... Yeah. Huh. Of course they're out now though. Uh it's gonna scout that uh that Hydra Hydra Den right away. Or wait, did he see that? He probably saw that right. He may or may not have seen the Hydra Den. Um he's certainly he's going see to now. see it now. And this looks a lot like three hatch hydralisk if he doesn't come all the way down to see that the lair's on the way, but he does see the lair now. So now he knows it's four hatch hydra. I'm <laughs> sure he doesn't have a whole lot of experience playing against it because it's pretty rare to see this kind of build among lower level players. Yeah. One interesting thing is that, you know, sometimes pro players hold this off with uh with a couple of DTs, but Baku is also investing in uh getting overlord speed which has is about to finish um so dts aren't gonna do anything i wonder if he's making any though hold on i right, still producing zealots his second and third gate are just about to finish and he's supply blocked that's great that is wonderful All right, well, it looks like is the lurk Lurker upgrade's done, but I don't see any Lurkers out for Bakuyu yet. Or at least I assume it's done. Either way, he's been very passive so far. Normally he does go for some kind of little bit of aggression before the Mutalisk switch, 
but Wants is going to come back in with his Corsairs. If he does get all the way to the main, he'll see the Spire, um, and potentially even see some Mutalisks if he sticks around that long. But no, he's going to go out of there. I'm, it's a, I'm not it's sure. A, it'd be unlikely that he stuck around that way anyway, and oh, oops. Like usually you see Zergs, well, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, back here did save up 900, 900, and you know usually when the spire finishes, you, you see all the larvae in, in one go being morphed. But back here isn't making anything from this. Oh, he's got a DT at the uh, three drop position, which got click it, click it. Oh god damn it! it was only one I'm kill. on touch, but I didn't click it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only one. Okay. And Fair I'm enough. pretty sure that one kill was just a zergling out in the middle of the map. No drones. Fair enough. So Bakker does now invest in getting those mutas. Um, he's got one, two, three. I think eight mutas. Looks like eight mutas. Uh, as well as a couple of uh, like a uh, like maybe two control groups of hydras moving to the front of um, of, uh, of once's base. He's got three Templars out though. Like I imagine he got storm research. He's got three storms ready. That should be enough to to keep the Zerg at bay for now. Uh, meet us going in from the south. Oh, these Templars! Oh, he misses the shot. Oh, he misses the shot. Like he should have gotten a shut off on, on on at least one Templar just to just to kill it. Like eight Templars is plenty to just one shot a uh, one shot a Templar, but he didn't. Um, and now I don't think the the, the, the Hydra attack will do anything. And the Mutas didn't do, do their job either. So, huh? That might actually be problematic for. For uh, for Bakker, you right? Because he's still on three base. He's getting a fourth now. Uh, but he invested a lot in making armies. Uh, st saturation is not well. He's making some drones now. So I'm 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 not I'm not too worried about Bakker's position. Oh, yo, he just used all of his money. Was he making a bunch of lurkers? Yes, he is. Okay, I was gonna say he had enough money for to just make ten lurkers. And ten mm -hmm. lurkers plus the mutilus plus the hydralis he has makes for a really solid contain. And while he's done no damage, you're still facing a Protoss opponent with absolutely no map presence and two bases. So Well This is true, but um let's see what he's making. Yeah, I was wondering if he had switched into Dagoonshit. Doesn't look like it yet, like he's making them now, but like I kinda of feel that the 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 round of units before this uh, had to be dragoons, but he because he can bust out of his out of his main like right now, like if he moves out into uh, the position in front of his base and takes that uh, and takes either the nine o'clock base or the uh, what is it like seven o'clock base? Like he could do that like right now, but if he waits too long and okay, he is moving out now. Oh, he's actually gonna engage these hydra masks. Um, if he can get some good storms off, he might be able to do it. I don't. Does he have any observers? I don't see any with the army. Um. Yeah, same. I don't see the observatory. No, he has no observers. He just has a robo facility with no other buildings. Well, the the position that he moved uh, that he moved into is pretty good because now you know with storms he can hold the Zerg at bay for you know at least a little while. Uh, and he can probably take another base right now, and if he starts making Dragoons uh, and Observers, he should be okay against um, any any Lurkers that Barker you might make. Well, Wands just threw away all of his uh, Corsairs. Just ah, up. Do Storm! Go Storm! Oh, one Storm misses. Uh. One Storm... Kind of okay, kind of okay. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Sick storm. Very nice storm. Bakker, you. Ooh, he, he looked like he was about to move in. Uh, let's see how many storms he's got left. Let's see. Uh oh. He's got three storms left. Ooh, uh oh. This is. Bakker, you. Bakker, you used all of his storm dodging ability with those oh, mutilists. Oh, man. 
See, he would have had this 100% had he had observers. Like, the, the Zealots and the Dragoons cannot do anything against the Lurkers right now. He's got a single observer and it's sitting in his robo. He's, he's, he's bringing it to the front right now, but he needs to hurry. Uh, he's got no temp. He's got one Templar left. It's he's got gonna be able to snipe the observer. a single storm. Pretty good uh, as no. well. No. <sighs> Still not uh, enough to break through, though. I want to say that was closer than it looked. Like, had he had an observer, I think he would have held would have held that position in front of his base. But uh, not so much now. Observers get sniped. He's got only a single observer left. And only Dragoons against these Hydras. Which isn't... It's not ideal. Uh, and on top of that, oh, he's queued like a shit ton of Zealots and zero Templars. So this is a problem as well. He's got... Holy shit, he's got eight gates off of two base. Ain't no thang. He's also almost mined out, which at this point I think is his biggest problem. Uh, he does another observer goes down. He doesn't have a whole lot of time to break out. Yeah. Like at this point, you really need your storms, as well as observers. He's got the ladder he's got now, but no storms to be seen. He's gonna try and break out with goons. I like. I don't think this will work. No. Too many hydrolysis. Uh, observer down. And once gets pushed back into his main. Backer you holds his position. And he's rallying more lurkers. <sighs> Let's see how uh uh Backer you is morphing a hive right now. It's about fifty or sixty percent done. It's making some zerklings as well for I don't know why. <laughs> Just because circlings are cool, I reckon. He's got only one carapace. He doesn't have any other upgrades, which is weird. Let's see if he's got melee upgrades. No, he's got one one in the circlings for some reason. Ah, uh, once you gotta make templars, man. All right, he's making some templars. He's making three templars, and he's gonna shuttle out. Some Dark Templars. Awesome. Economic damage at this point doesn't matter for Bakuyu. Because you can't kill all of Bakuyu's workers. But you are about to lose all of your mining. There's one patch with more than 100 minerals. Or more than 200 minerals, I should say. Two patches more than 200 minerals left. And Bakuyu Whoa. with some suicidal Templar snipes. <laughs> He just suicided like 12 hydras into a single storm. I don't even Doc, know. Doc, you, please. Alright, so he's got two more storms, I guess. There goes one. Ooh. Pretty good damage as well. Very like those hydras weren't on hold position. Which is pretty bad. And. Oh, is he actually gonna bust this? There's. Uh, there's uh, some more lurkers out no. there. It's kind of hard to see, though. I think there are too many reinforcements coming in. It's close. It's close, and he has gotten some really nice storms off in this battle, but... Well... Yeah. I guess. Uh, he's, he's, he's cleared up the Hydras. There are still four Lurkers left, though. And... No Observer... Oh, he's got one Observer right now. <coughs> he also only he has a thousand be Minerals. Before he's completely gone. Ah, uh, Barker change. And he can't right. use 400 of them because he needs to build a Nexus. There goes one one Lurker. Only three more. Kill it. Kill it. Alright, there we go. There's, a, there's more Lurkers? Oh, there's more Lurkers. Holy shit. Alright, so Wands has managed to get out of his main. And Bakuryu is massing... Circlings. Because why not? He's gonna lose this top left base though. And once he you know he really should be expanding behind this. 
he brought a probe out, but then changed directions on it. Um, now, yeah. I guess he's gonna go explain to the mineral only. There's a zerking there as well. No, wait, that's an overlord. Alright. Alright, we're going back. He's got a, he's got a zealot. He's gonna kill this zerking right now. There we go. Dead it. Alright, here we go. He's got swarm, I think. Cast swarm, very good. So, swarm and zerglings versus dragoons. Um, it's not a pretty sight. Got some zealots reinforcing, but not nearly enough. Holy shit, how many dark swarm does this fighter have? <sighs> yep, crackling's pretty good. Bakio has great upgrades for him already. Wands won't be able to remake that army for quite a while. He has zero money at all. He is getting the Nexus up, but he was about to die to those lings. And there is three. There we go. So back are you is on match point. Like he's about to take the series for Hellaran. And the last player that Fox will send out will need to all kill. So oh. there you go. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> All killing LRM is not like an easy thing to do. Not really, no. But um, nothing's impossible, right? Mm. Except licking your elbow. Yeah. Though I guess you could break your arm and do it that way, but anyway. Alright. Baku needs one more kill for the all kill. Fox's player needs a lot. He needs to win four in a row. Ever so slightly grim. In the top right position on Jade is Baku as the blue Zerg. And in the bottom position is the man who got the all kill before. Karate boy. Happily chatting away. So this might be the from rush. Just saying. Does Terran have a from rush? I guess BBS? Ter what? Terran invented the from rush. What are you on about? Was that a like what race? Was that a Terran game? Huh? Oh yeah. That what race did you think the from rush was? Well, I thought it was Zerg Four Pool. No. No, I, I remember oh. the I remember the video now. Yeah, it was a Terran player. <laughs> yeah. But no, Depot first. There we go. In the worst position ever. All right. <laughs> so, uh, not to disparage the rest of the players that come out for Fox, but uh, Karate is. A couple leagues beyond them in terms of talent. He got an all kill last week against SJ, a very talented team. Shocking the world. And he just looked, beyond beating uh, four players, he just looked really, really strong. There were very few things in his game that were not correct. Well, you remember the last game against Terra, right? I mean, that was pretty close. Yeah. Okay, and he really didn't do a whole lot wrong in that game, other than attacking up that ramp. He attacked <laughs> up a ramp, and that was a terrible idea. But, like, other than yeah, that, yeah. there was some questionable judgment with Battlecruiser positioning, and that's about it. Yeah, like, he, like at points, he probably made it closer than it needed to be. Like, maybe that's... Maybe that's the thing, right? Anyway... Becker, you're going for the uh, 12 hatch, 11 pool again. 13 hatch, I guess. No, yes, yes, no. Maybe. 
Where's this drone going? Oh, it's going back. Fair enough. Fair enough. I do find it ironic that of all that, considering how many Asian people play this game, that the guy named Karate is white. Is he white? He is white. Are you sure? I've seen his picture. He's white. Okay. Yeah, he could be white. I don't know. I, I was thinking about that, like, after he got the all kill. I was thinking that's kind of funny. Yeah, well, I suppose so. I wonder if he knows karate. Like, like the martial arts? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. We should, we should find out. <laughs> Is that everything going absolutely standard? Which is probably why we can talk a bit more about karate's uh, test time activities. <sighs> four links. Wait, no, that's no, three links. No, wait. Whirlings scouting the front, being distracted by a uh, SUV. But um, Karate's got a bunker up and should be pretty safe. Um, yeah, Baku immediately turns around. This yeah, is going for the eBay first as well, so we might be looking at another uh, plus one timing attack, and I. Th I think, I'm not completely sure, but I think that last week um, he played South Park on this match, he, on this map. He played South Park on this map in the same positions. Right, in the same position as well. All oh, right. So, and South Park, I think, did some kind of, you know, Ling attack where he made a bunch of Lings and, you know, Karate went one Rex eBay as well and didn't have that many Marines, but he still held it and you know managed to win that game in the end as well oh. so you know I wonder if <laughs> well, gotta wonder if Bakryu is uh, aware of that you know history, history. <clears throat> excuse me it yeah Bakryu made a really sick wall it, it's pretty much the same wall he has now or excuse me Karate made a sick wall and it's the same wall he had now but with uh, one more supply depot right here, and then put marines in all the holes, and South Park's link aggression was immediately repelled. But I would be mm. surprised if Bakuyu built more than eight link or more than twelve links before the mutilus came out. Yeah, probably not. He's getting the spirits about halfway. Um, plus one is about thirty percent done. He's getting his third Rex now. Uh, probably getting a fourth soon as well, maybe a fifth even. Let's see. Stim. Ooh, Stim's not nearly done. I think it'll be in time for the Mutus though. Mm -hmm. So, back here is rallying some things to the front, but, you know, like you said, I don't. Like, he's got the. He, he's doing again what you just said, uh, putting the. Uh, Marines in the gap between the bunker and their uh, supply depot, which is pretty cool. All right. And he's moving out now as well, so he'll probably be able to take out these links, or you know, at least a couple, and just kind of wear down any kind of uh, terrorist killing backstab that uh, that Barkley was planning. I did hear a scan, but I don't know where it landed. Uh, I don't know either. I would guess. First Mutas. The first Mutas, right. Uh, turret is gonna be. Like, the single turret is gonna be up in time, but a single turret isn't enough. Uh, luckily for. Uh... Ooh! Is he gonna engage mid map? Yeah. Loses a medic. Stims once. And he's gonna run into the natural. Ooh, I. Don't think that would be a good idea. He's got a bunker fully loaded. A couple more marines there. Got two turrets as well. Back here, he realizes this, and he's gonna go 
for like to use third or just in between to make sure to defend. Three Sunkens at the front. Uh, he does have three medics, but with the uh, with the with the zerglings and the and the Mudas being able to flank from behind, I don't think he should be attempting to break this. So yeah, Barker is probably gonna head to the middle, regroup, uh, and then put some pressure on the third base top left. Mm -hmm. Um, how much longer until lurkers are done? Uh, apparently, the upgrade for lurkers is done, but he hasn't started any yet. Yeah, definitely, uh, that top left base is looking rather vulnerable. Yeah, first Hydra is now out, uh, top left. You'll probably be making that into a Lurker right about... Nope. Oh. Chat. Oh, he needs to morph that into a Lurker. Like, right now he's controlling it. I see, I see him moving it. He's gonna block the ram maybe, with the Lurker Egg. Losing an Overlord as well. Oh, he's gonna lose either as well. Yeah. Morph it? No. I wonder if he has... I wonder if he has the Lurker upgrade, because he's got plenty of money and there's like no reason not oh, to make it. Oh, he didn't. It just started. Did Baku Ooh, forgot the go. Lurker upgrade? Yeah, that's probably the case. Oh. So... At this point, Bakuyu is in a lot of trouble. Like, the hatchery is down. Um, Karate probably wants to move back to his back to his natural immediately just to defend any kind of all-in that he could do. He's scanning around the map. He's got a very good sense of what's left for Bakaryu. Uh, Ooh, Bakaryu getting a hive. Yep. Like, I don't know if he, sc if he scanned that. He definitely scanned that. I saw it. Really? And, yeah. Right. Bakaryu being Bakaryu with his 40 supply hives. <laughs> it's oh man, it it doesn't work when it's only forty supply and you've lost the third. It just and you've got two gas. Man, I've seen this game so many times when Bakuyu <laughs> loses his third and then gets hive, yeah. and then it's like I have a defiler and three links. But uh, Karedi's absolutely fine. Like he doesn't even need to move back because he's got plenty of forces at home. He's making more bunkers. Uh, he's got some marines and medics. I would actually like to see some fire bats maybe as well. But um. Like he's absolutely fine, and he's using the, uh, the his initial moving out force to just you know go around the map, maybe engage these mutilisks. I think Baku will probably yeah he won't engage that. But he took top left again. Holy shit! Why? Why would you do that, Baku? You? Why? Uh. And he cancels it. He's gonna suicide the drone, hide the other drone, top left, or uh, top right, we like that move. But seriously, he should have, like, I, I think he should have taken his natural third, which he's going for now, because... Simply because you can actually get lurkers into place there. Like, he's bringing three over now. And, um... Yeah. Karate just needs to control the middle until he gets, um... He mad I imagine he's getting 2-2 two -two right now. Yeah, he's getting 2-1 on his marines and medics right now. Which is good, he's got a really decent force at his front with his uh, with his small task force just moving around the map. I'm... I'm actually kind of surprised that he's getting 2-1. Normally this is the perfect time for a player who went 5 racks to uh, lift off all their racks and start making factories. Because um, your opponent has absolutely no map control, and Baku certainly does not have map control. But it looks like he wants to yeah. just stick it out with the r Marines for a while longer. Yeah, like I don't think he needs it because he's he's in a, he's got a pretty good lead, right? And oh, yeah, um, he doesn't need it. But... I was gonna say maybe he's he's he, he will switch to Mac once he's got his third gas secured, but um, he's making more Rexes now, so we'll probably see him stick with Bio. Uh, using the vessel and the tanks to push these lurkers back. Uh, Bakuyu has got to engage. Good spread uh, on the marines, though. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a, yeah, that spread still lost a lot of marines there. Yeah, and he got he got the swarm in place. You know, in good time. Um, 
Ooh. But yeah, I, th I like I. I'd say that now is actually the time to switch to Mac. Like, um, Zerg is just gonna try to hang on with Swarm and uh, Swarm and Lurkers, and there's no real good way to engage using just Bio. Um, and meantime, you've got all the freedom you want on the map. So, oh, <laughs> look at the Firebat train. Nice. All aboard oh, the wow. Firebat train. Choo choo. Choo choo. <laughs> that's that's a right. bunch of Firebats. All right, man. So they do, they do what? Four and a half damage to lurkers? No, no, oh. no. They do, they do, they do nine because lurkers actually aren't big. They're middle. No, lurkers are big. No, no. They're only big when you put them in overlords. But um, as far as damage types are concerned, lurkers are middle or medium. Like I don't even know what the officially. You've got small and you've got big, and then you've got whatever's in between. I think it's medium actually, like not middle. Really? What did I say middle? Yeah. Alright, oh, just. I'm gonna have to go check that after this. Alright. Anyway. Fire rats. Look. It's like they're not actually bad, only the thing is that they clump up and they take a lot of splash damage. So that's why, like. Once I realized that they're actually not, like, as far as damage types are concerned, they're actually not bad against Lurkers. I wanted to run them in a, under Swarm and take out Lurkers, but it still doesn't work really well, because they still have not too many hit points and they still take a lot of splash damage, so... Okay. Anyway... It's still it's still not 9 damage, though. Because it... Yeah, it is. It, well, even, even if the Lurkers are medium, the Lurkers have 2 armor. And the firebat, hit, the firebat attack hits twice, so it's Fair five enough. damage. But fair <laughs> enough. Um. Oh, we gotta uh, try to dodge lurker spines. It's not ah. working. Well, it's kind of working. <laughs> A little. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you get more than I expected. He'd get, but um, uh, at this. point... Points. Oh. I don't know. Like his his army, Kirati's army seems a bit fragmented. Like I would like him to just kind of maintain his big bio while he's taking to Mac. And at this point, he's got a smallest bio ball being reinforced with another smallest bio ball, and then there are some vultures as well. Yeah. Which is neat. And. It gets a little bit awkward for him, but this is why you normally transition before you get to two one bio, because now it's well, you don't want bio. Like the two one bio is good, but I'd just like to see him put it into wall, one ball and just move back and forth um, across the middle of the map to kind of you know keep the zerg at bay. Oh, Baku did manage to get his uh, his top left base again, but. Like, I don't know... Yeah, he's gonna scout it with a marine, and he's got filters nearby as well, so he can probably take that out. Uh, even though the Nidus does finish. So, you know, Bucky should be able to defend that as well. Alright. Oh, he just transferred a bunch of drones through the Nidus Canal. Um, that... the Oh, the vultures are not oh, gonna dear. be able to pick them up. Very tight timing on that swarm. But the drones will uh, all be able to live, and the lurkers make it pretty hard for the vultures to get in there. You could still get behind the mineral line and pick some off. But yeah, he could. It's probably not even worth it. He can, he can probably mine up this base and just leave. So Karate's force is like he's sending his entire army to the top left, the like top left of the middle, while some random marines are being slaughtered, which is fine. Some tanks and vultures moving out as well. He's got his, he's got his like fire bat, marine medic army going top left, and huh. Should he be dedicating this much to top left? Like, his third base is very vulnerable at the moment. Nah, Baku is in no position to get aggressive at all. He needs to keep his entire army by Nidus Canals. 
so that they can look at that. Look at that badass firebat defense matrix taking out two lurkers. Because why the fuck not? So this is like when when Zerg's got ultras out. This is probably the point at which you um, want to have had um, switch to Mac, right? Yes, no. Yeah. Oh, Karate gives up the medic wall. Like there was a medic wall, and the ultras were freaking out, and then he moved the medics back. Uh, yeah. Especially, especially with the five armor, it's like it's not the end of the world when your marines go up against ultralisks and they only have two armor or three armor. <laughs> but five armor ultralisks, it's yeah, you really need some okay. serious siege tank. I, I don't, I don't wanna. What's it called? Jinx. Just in your parade. Oh. But these firebats just took out a five armor ultralisk. Just saying. Firebats are pretty badass, man. Alright. So, Karate is sticking to this, uh, to this bio play with some, uh, mines mixed in, I guess. But, um, like, Bakuyu is, has regained map presence and he's doing stabs at the third base, which is really poorly defended at the moment. Um, and while he's doing that, he's taking the top left natural as well. Man. Alright, I need to give Bakuyu a lot of credit in this game. Cause when he built his hive on 40 supply, <laughs> I thought he was dead. I thought it was like, nope, Grady's just going to kill him. But then he got well, some really clutch swarms off at the very end yep. there. And since then he's just been playing a flawless game. He's trying to get around. Yeah, yeah, Bakuyu has been like... This 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 swarm at forty supply has been working magic for him. Like it, it enabled him to to stay alive while while karate was very slow on the on the max switch and the uh, he is doing a max switch now. Um, yeah, which isn't too good if you walled in your own tanks. But um, like that kind of reduces the efficiency of the whole thing. But, um, like, I don't think it's enough right now. He can still control this valley between uh, the middle and his, uh, his own three bases. But, like, I don't know how long, how much longer he can hold that. Bakuyu is at a 140 supply, and I don't think anything is stopping him from maxing out. Yeah, he's on 140 supply, and probably more importantly, he's on five bases. Where yeah. Karate Boy is trying to get his second mining base up. He has <laughs> one mining base right now. And really, I do think that the key point of this game was when Karate decided not to transition to mech. Instead, get a 2-1 bio ball and go for an attack at Bakuyu. And Bakuyu got those really nice swarms off. Because Bakuyu handled the situation really well, but it also meant that Karate Boy had a late mech transition. It means he couldn't expo at any point because he just wanted to keep attacking. And I think that that might really have been what costed him this game. It looks like Barker is just going for it. I mean, like you said, he's got five bases. Um, he's got the tech, he's got the drones, he's got the saturation. He, there's nothing stopping him from just building a shit ton of units. Uh, he's got the upgrades that are superior as well. Um, and he's not waiting to, to, to get a big army. He's just going for it with these ultras. And <laughs> he's taking out a lot of units. These medics are like, fuck you, Marine. We're not gonna heal you when there's a, there's a fucking Ultra attacking you. Ultra finally goes down, but there's a beeline of Zerklings now heading into the third. He's, he's gonna run. Ah, medics get out of the way. These these vultures need to get through. Two two vultures and two, two tanks. I'm not, I don't think that's enough to hold all these Zerklings at bay. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe one more filter. <laughs> Kill him. I guess it will be with enough down. medics and NC beats to walk. The, the medics were just getting in the way. I think 
but just mainly, I don't know, maybe they were functioning as like eye candy for the Zerglings, kind of distracting them. Karate did get a fourth base up, um, while there's a Zergling at the 7 o'clock position, like you do really clear that out, just to be able to take that base should he want it. At this point, though, like I don't, I'm not sure what Karate can do. Like he, he needs really good mind spread to, to maybe get lucky with these ultras. But like he didn't do that, and this left, you know, this left hand position is probably gonna get taken out. Yeah, he's lifting it now and evacuating the SUVs. No. And there's another beeline of Zerglings heading into the third. Uh, he's got some mines now. And a single tank? Oh no, he's got three tanks, okay. Well... Man. Baki plagued the SCVs. Which is kinda funny. Where? Uh, the ones, oh, that, were, the ones that were transferring out. <laughs> yeah, I see him. Oh, that's just... Oh, that's brutal. Imagine if they walked over a single lurker. In that line. More Zerglings heading into the third. Like, eventually he, he will get this command center as well. Repair it? Uh, it's got to say, ah, I don't know. okay. Alright. Command center is dead, and I think the same can be said about Karate. Pretty much. Karate's not mining at all. I think technically he might be long distance mining from his third base, but really he's just not mining. Does not exactly have a bank. Uh, it barely has enough for the command center. The mech army is like w really spread out. He's got two tanks and four villages in the middle, and then he's got a couple more tanks down his ramp, and a couple more tanks in his natural. And there's like, if you look, just look at the mini map, you just see like this is how how you play Zerg, right? You just swarm units down into the uh, into Terran's face. Take out shit and then swarm more stuff in. And Karate taps out. GG. Yep. Karate taps out and Bakker you. Getting an all kill. So we had two all kills today. Sorry? We had two all kills today. This is true. Yeah. Very nice. Alright. Well, that's. That's it for me for today. Um, cool. Thank you to Ewa. Thank you to the sponsors, Prowler and Eagle. Got that right this time. Uh, thank you to the referees for organizing, apparently, what was an annoying show match, or annoying series between uh, Sir and China. And thank you, Volon, for joining me today. Do you have anything you yeah, want to no say problem. before we go? Uh, check out Wikipedia. Check out Wikipedia. Because why not? No, I totally checked out Liquipedia during that cast to see whether lurkers were medium units or not. They are. They are. They are. I'm amazed. Learn something new every day. Alright. Take care, everybody. I will be back next week, same time Saturday, uh, for week three cast. There will be no cast between those two. Uh, because Saturday? Or Sunday, excuse me. Thank you. Great. Sunday. Uh, we <laughs> For... Yeah, cast Sunday for week three. There'll be no cast between now and then because we casted all of them from this week. Uh, there were only three because SJ and Sass did not play. So, uh, see you guys all next time. Bye.